It was a normal Tuesday evening for the Sawatsky family of the Mennonite community of New Land in Corozal. That is, until around 7.30 p.m., 15-year-old Helena Sawatsky was filling a kerosene lantern accidentally with gasoline, while her mother, 38-year-old Justina Sawatsky, flicked a lighter to light the lantern. That was when the lantern combusted, spilling gasoline on all the family members and simultaneously igniting a fire that left them literally fighting off flames from their bodies. Desperate attempts by the patriarch of the family, 39-year-old Henrik Sawatsky, to extinguish his family members who were burning alive was only successful for his wife and his two older children, Helena and Jacob, age 10, who suffered burns to both their hands. In the struggle, Sawatsky also suffered burns to both his hands as he tried to save his two youngest children, three-year-old Anna and a 10-month-old baby girl, who both suffered severe burns to their entire bodies. The family sought medical attention at the Northern Regional Hospital, where the infant died. Little Anna was transferred to the Carl Hirschner Memorial Hospital, where she too succumbed early this morning. Today, Commissioner of Police Chester Williams confirmed it was human error that happened. They believe that they were putting kerosene in the lamp when in fact it may have been gasoline. And when they, they lighted it, it, um, it blew up, causing injuries to um, the individuals. I think one person passed away. Um, police are still looking at that matter. Fire department is also involved and then we'll see what the outcome of the fire investigation is going to be. And is there any possibility of a, some type of charge, maybe even negligence? Um, at this time, we cannot say. We need, we need to await the um, report from the fire department and then we'll see how it goes from there. Meanwhile, an elder of Newland told News 5 that while the close-knit Mennonite community is shocked by the incident, they still hold staunchly to their religious beliefs and they do not want electricity in the village. They feel that electricity is even more dangerous than kerosene or gasoline since faulty electrical connections or wires result in fires more frequently than not. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.